Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. This read is for the Smurf and the TikTok family of the Smurf Ministry. Today's read is for Monday, July the 18th, 2022, reading Genesis, the 41st chapter, the 21st verses through 57 and chapter 42. And the verse, hold on. Okay. And Genesis 41, ew, 41 and 42 reads, And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it up on Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. We'll be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go for Monday, the 18th of July. And when they had eaten them, and when they had eaten them up, it could not be known that they had eaten them, but they were still ill flavored, favored as at the beginning. So I awoke and I saw in my dream and behold, seven ears came up in one stalk full and good. And behold, seven ears withered, thin and blasted with the east wind sprung up after them. And the thin ears devoured the seven good ears. And I told this unto the magicians, but there was none that could declare it to me. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, the dream of Pharaoh is one. God has shewed Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good kind are seven years and seven good ears are seven years. The dream is one. And the seven thin and ill-favored kind that came up after them are seven years. And the seven empty ears blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. Now this is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do, he showed unto Pharaoh. Now behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt. And there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land, and the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of the famine following, for it shall be very grievous. And for that, the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing is established by God, and God will shortly bring it to pass. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenty years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through the famine. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this is, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in a second chariot, which he had had. And they cried before him, bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. 
And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnapha And he gave him to wife Esenia, the daughter of Potiphera, the priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of plenty. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. And in the seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth handfuls. And he gathered up all the food of the seven years, which were in the land of Egypt, and laid up the food in the cities, the food of the field, which was round about every city, laid he up in the same. And Joseph gathered corn as the sand of the sea, very much until he left numbering, for it was without number. And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, which Jesse not the daughter of Potiphera, priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for God said he had made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim, for God hath caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. And the seven years of plenteous that was in the land of Egypt were ended. And the seven years of dearth began to come according to Joseph, according as Joseph had said. And the dearth was in all lands, but in the land of Egypt there was bread. And when the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And Pharaoh said unto all the Egyptians, Go unto Joseph, what he said to you, do. And the famine was over all the face of the earth. And Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold unto the Egyptians. And famine waxed sore in the land of Egypt. And all the countries came into Egypt to Joseph for to buy corn because that the famine was so sore in all lands. Chapter 42. And when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, Least preadventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made him strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From Canaan, the land of Canaan, to buy food. Now, Joseph knew who they were, but they didn't know Joseph. Here it is all these years later. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful story. Hallelujah. Well, Smurf and TikTokers, this is who we are. We're Smurf Family International Ministry, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Vote. We do broadcast live Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can find us always live on YouTube and or Facebook at Pamela Dobson. If we Zoom, that's the Zoom information. We broadcast live on those social media platforms. Any donation that the Lord lays upon your heart to give, I'll ask for $7. You can send that to dollar sign Mama Pam 23 paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Now, Zelle is specifically reserved for Mackenzie Scott Jewett, used to be Bezo. Sister McKenzie, we are asking for $7 million to start a transitional home for underprivileged young girls, girls of color like myself, who are under the ages of 18, preferably having been human trafficked and or with child or having had a baby. We want to nurture them, love them, help them to be successful in society, but we need your help. All right, TikTok, I'm looking at the clock and it's 10 o'clock and I got to stop. God bless.